Hello, welcome to Deb's Kitchen. Today I'm making quick mole. I was thinking, what can I make to go with that macaroni salad I just made? Something simple, mole. And you know, Deb, I'm not all about grinding the chili and all that detail. Here's what I use. Doña Maria hasn't failed me yet. And I have two packages, drums and thighs, so that's my preference. And I'm not gonna use all of this, I'm gonna use half, but I have a pan over here, cats, a uh, Dutch oven. I'm gonna put it on high. I'm gonna start off with eight cups of water. Pour that in. Then I'm gonna get my chicken. I am gonna trim off, I'm leaving the skin on because I want my broth to be rich. So I'm peeling off, I'm just cutting off the obvious pieces of fat that's gross. I'm putting in four thighs, big size thighs, and four nice size drums. Always look for meaty pieces of chicken. Don't get those weak lean chicken. This is on steroids probably, huh? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to rinse this off. I'm going to rinse this off and toss them in the pan. Okay, I rinse these off and normally I don't rinse these things because it's the food and drugs don't recommend it when you're in a restaurant setting. Cross contamination, you just end up getting germs all over everything. But, and plus it's sterilized when you cook it, but I'm going to clean my sink with Clorox spray. Okay, I have it on high setting and I want to get a rolling boil. In the meantime, I'm cutting up with the veggies I'm going to use, which is an onion, and I'm roughly chopping it because I'm going to throw it in the blender because I don't want big pieces of onion. Okay, I have my onions peeled, and I'm peeling my garlic. I'm throwing them in the pan with the water whole. Then I'm going to fish them out before I add the sauce, throw them in the blender, and add it back in with the sauce. Okay, I have six cloves of garlic. Two, I'm just throwing the onion in there like that. I just want the flavor. Now I'm gonna add some famous, my famous go-to, Lori, seasoning salt. Garlic. Garlic, garlic salt with parsley. One tablespoon. Add some cracked pepper. to cover this. Let me move that around. I want them uh, submerged. And we are going to cook this. At, once it starts boiling, I'm going to check it in 30 minutes. Okay, I'm checking my chicken. It's almost cooked, but I want to taste the broth because you have to have flavorful broth to have good mole. There's not enough um, flavor, so I'm going to add some chicken granulated bouillon to kick it up a notch. Okay, I'm gonna add two tablespoons because I already know what needs to get. Now you could also use, when you start out, instead of water, you could actually use the, bo the box chicken broth and that is guaranteed that you have a good flavor. But I like to use the natural broth and then I add some chicken, so now that I've added it, I'm going to taste it again. Let's see, these steps are important before you add the chili. Perfect. Okay, I have my Doña Maria, and it depends how much chicken you're cooking. If I was cooking both of those packs, I'd use both, and I'm using one. Now, the hard part is trying to lift this, so I'm supposed to lift it at these three points. The whole hardest part of making mole period if you're using a jar is opening the jar. You would think that Doña Maria would have designed a better way to open their, their jars. We had to use different types of can openers and finally we ended up puncturing it even though there's three tabs that you're supposed to just easily open it. Go figure. I took the vegetables off with a slotted spoon. I put them in the hair and now the secret is to try to get this out. Not only is it hard to open, it's hard to get out. It's a paste. So I get a knife and I just kind of cut it up. 
before I put it in. It's a concentrated chili paste. And if you don't watch, you better wear an apron because you're going to get it all over yourself, I guarantee you. I use a fork, I use a knife, whatever it takes. You just need to get all this paste out. But the redeeming factor with these Doña Marias is that once you take soak this, you have a little cup. See, there's even printing behind here. It says, you're my something. <laughs> You'll have to buy me to find out the messages. So now, this is where the rubber meets the road. Some people cannot stand mole with peanut butter. I add it and they never know the difference. So I'm putting a, an extra cup, teaspoon, Mexican style tea, tablespoon of chili. And then I'm going to add a cucharita, since it's Cinco de Mayo, of peanut butter. I add it all the time and everybody says, I don't like more than peanut butter. Guess what? Mm, you, even when I eat it, you do? Yeah. Well, I like peanut butter. more liquid so I'm going to get some more of the juice and just a tip when you're putting hot stuff in the blender if you don't have um, somewhere for it to air to circulate it will splatter and all over but this is a Vitamix that has openings on it Vitamix has this spoon this and they are noisy They don't have a Vitamix because they use to use a blender? Yeah. This is what it looks like. And if you don't have a Vitamix, by all means, use a regular blender. We're going to add it to our chicken. And I already know, sometimes, like I said, the fluid kind of melts down. And that's when it comes in handy to have a box of chicken broth. Still thick, so I added more juice. <laughs> Okay, so make sure you get every, every possible piece of chili out, even if you have to keep stirring in liquid until it runs clear. Now we're just going to stir our mole until it's ready. Okay, as your mole cooks, as this, it will thicken, because this has like a, a base, a gravy base in it. So we're just going to keep doing this until it's thickened. We'll be back. If you see little clumps when you're stirring, just get a spoon and use the back of your spoon to break it down and keep stirring. Now this, there's different kinds of mole. I recently ordered one online that now that now that I made that one, this one looks light. But that one's called mole negro. It's black, black, and it is delicious. And I will make that one day, but you have to order that online. The thing about making Mexican dishes like enchilada sauce, mole, it can get messy, look it. But me, I'm the messy cook. I cook first and clean later. Our mole is done. See, look at that. This mole will go delicious with my easy 20 minute rice, my Mexican rice. Everybody knows how to make that. It's so easy. Make some of that. Make some mole. I guarantee you folks, it's gonna be delicious. And don't forget, the recipe will be in the, the recipe and instruction ingredients will be in the description below. But don't forget, like, subscribe, share. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Make some rice, some mole. It's going to be delicious. Some of you are asking, what is mole? Well, do you like chili Colorado? Well, that's basically what it is. It's a chili gravy and a sauce, if you will. And the chicken is cooked in with the broth and this chili and spices. And it is super delicioso. Well, all right, here's my mom's brother. He's going to be trying out this mole, the one of the lucky Wait, taste testers. Taste it. Oh, yes. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? You got to try it? Mm -hmm. Alright, there you have it. This is delicious. Got to try it. Oh, man. Yeah. Good. <laughs>